In this video we're going to have a look at some momentum questions and some calculations to do with momentum. First thing we're going to look at is the formula that allows us to calculate momentum. So the momentum of an object is equal to the mass of the object times the velocity of the object. We tend to use these units when dealing with this formula. So we tend to have mass in kilograms and we tend to have velocity in meters per second. Okay, That means that our unit for momentum is going to be kilogram meters per second. Quite a complicated unit but that's the one we tend to use. If instead of kilograms we had grams we could do grams times meters per second and our unit for momentum would be gram meters per second but we do tend to use kilogram meters per second that's the one that I'd like you to use in these calculations so let's have a look at some here are five objects I'd like you to calculate the momentum of those objects using the formula that we saw on the previous page so that formula was momentum is mass times velocity okay five objects I'd like you to have a go at there's a little bit of a hint here how to convert grams to kilograms for these two the mass is in grams I'd like your answer in kilogram meters per second so we will need to convert the mass for this one pause the video give the questions a go then we'll go through some answers right we'll have a look at some answers then so we'll take the first three to start off with um, remember our formula for momentum is mass times velocity so our first object is going to be the car which has a mass of 700 kilograms we're going to times that by 80 meters per second that works out at 56,000 and our unit will be kilogram meters per second second one our mass is 0 0.056 our velocity is 42 meters per second so our momentum works out at 2.352 kilogram meters per second third object the train much heavier so our mass is 450,000 kilograms velocity is 69 meters per second it gives us a very large momentum of 31 million and 50,000 I have to write the unit underneath this one kilogram meters per second okay so that's the first three All right let's have a look at the next two then so we'll start off with the ping pong ball its mass is two grams first thing we need to do is convert that to kilograms our conversion to kilograms turns that into 0 0.002 kilograms so we then use our momentum formula to take the mass 0.002 times that by the velocity which is 44.7 and that works our momentum out to be 0 0.0894 kilogram meters per second the bullet is slightly larger in terms of its mass so those four grams equate to 0 0.004 kilograms we take the mass 0.004 we times it by the velocity 1260 meters per second and that gives us a momentum of 5.04 kilogram meters per second so the next question I'd like you to have a go at is working out whether the large truck of a car has more momentum. So the question says which has more momentum? A fully laden truck traveling at 60 miles per hour or a small car traveling at 75 miles per hour? I'd like you to try and explain your answer using a calculation to support it. You can take an estimate of what you think the mass of the truck might be and an estimate of what you think the mass of the car might be. See which you think is going to have the large momentum. Again, I'd like you to pause the video, have a go at answering the question, then I'll give you an example of the kind of answer I'm looking for. Right then, hopefully you've had time to pause the video. We'll go through answers then.
Um, I'm going to estimate the mass of the truck and the car. If you s used slightly different numbers to me, that's absolutely fine. I'm estimating here. Um, so I'm going to estimate the mass of the truck to be around 4,000 kilograms. And I'm going to est estimate the mass of the car to be around a thousand kilograms. These are rough sort of figures if you use slightly different ones again please don't worry about that. Um, speed of the truck is 60 miles per hour, the speed of the car is 75 miles per hour. Okay um, so the momentum of the truck is going to be 4,000 kilograms times by 60 miles per hour that works out at 240,000 and I'm going to give you a new unit for momentum here, kilogram miles per hour. The momentum of my small car works out at 1,000 kilograms times by 75 meters per second. That equals 75,000 kilogram miles per hour. So the truck is significantly larger in terms of its mass and also the size of the momentum that it has 240,000 kilogram miles per hour as opposed to the 75,000 kilogram miles per hour we had over here and that's because the mass of the truck is so much larger this 4,000 kilogram mass here is significantly larger it's four times larger than the mass of the car which is why the momentum is so much greater despite the fact that the car is in fact going 15 miles an hour faster than the truck. Okay. So here's the next question then. We have a runaway cow. It's got a momentum of 2000 kilogram meters per second and a speed of 15 meters per second. You need to work out what the mass of this runaway cow is. Have a think about it. Using the same formula, momentum is mass times velocity. Pause the video see if you can do it then we'll go through the answers okay hopefully you've had a chance to do that we'll go through the answer to the question then um, it's really important that we remember what our formula that we're going to be using is momentum equals mass times velocity okay we know what the momentum is that's 2000 kilogram meters per second we don't know what the mass is, we're trying to work out the mass and we know that the velocity of the cow is 15 meters per second. Okay, So 2000 is equal to the mass multiplied by 15 so I'm going to need to divide by this 15 on both sides. So I'm going to do 2000 divided by 15 equals the mass of the cow and that works out to be if we round up 133 kilograms. Okay, note the unit's really important, we're working out mass. We can get the kilograms from here, our unit for momentum, kilogram meters per second. Okay, here's a really difficult question for you to have a go at. Um, you need to gonna think about this really, really carefully before you give it a go. We have a hot air balloon, it has a mass of 150 kilograms and it's moving upwards at a velocity of 5 meters per second. So it's got some momentum. We can work out what that momentum is. The balloon then releases 25 kilograms of sandbags that are sort of weighing it down. The momentum of the balloon doesn't change at this point. It stays exactly the same. But the velocity of the balloon does change. So momentum stays the same, mass changes, and the velocity will change. You need to try and work out what this new velocity is going to be have a think about it. Remember our formula for calculating momentum. You're going to need that. Momentum equals mass times velocity. Right, pause the video, see if you can do it, and then I'll go through the answers in a second. So, let's give it a go. We're going to work out the momentum of the balloon before the sandbags are released. So we're going to need a mass and we're going to need a velocity. So our mass is 150 kilograms, our velocity is 5 meters per second. So the momentum of the balloon before it releases the sandbags is 750 kilogram meters per second. It's then going to release these sandbags, so attached to the balloon 
it has some sandbags they're going to get released so the balloon will then weigh slightly less and it will hopefully travel up slightly faster okay the momentum at this stage doesn't change the momentum of the balloon is exactly the same the momentum will still be 750 kilogram meters per second the mass of the balloon has however gone down by 25 kilograms so the mass of the balloon was 150 kilograms it's gone down by 25 kilograms my new mass of the balloon is 125 kilograms okay I'm going to put that into my momentum formula here so my 750 from the momentum earlier is equal to the mass this is my new mass times by the velocity and I'm trying to work out this new velocity of the balloon so to work out velocity I do 750 divided by 125 that works out at 6 and it's velocity so it's in meters per second so my original velocity was 5 meters per second the velocity now that it's released that 25 kilograms of extra mass has gone up to 6 meters per second <laughs>